What are you doing down at that end of the hall? Waiting for Whittendale. There was nobody using this elevator, so I figured he might be using the service elevator. That's how he's been getting by me. Just as I got to the service elevator, it stopped on this floor. So you met Mr. Whittendale at last? No, I met the new janitor, Wilbur. <laughs> he's the custodian, George. That's funny. When one of us does that kind of work, they call him a janitor. <laughs> well, anyway, you have missed Whittendale again. Why don't you give up? He's just another banker. That's where you're wrong, Wheezy, because one of his companies is putting out a fat cleaning contract next Tuesday, and if I get to meet him, I know I can sell him to Jefferson Cleaners. Ah. Oh, wait a minute, George. Here are the Willises. I know. Goodbye, Mr. Whittendale. See you later. What? Wait! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me Whittendale was in there? Why didn't you ask? Why do I keep missing this guy? Well, you know, ships that pass in the night. And nuts that come out of elevators. <laughs> Don't pay him any mind. Come on in. George, Tom and Helen came to see us. Weezy, we don't have time for visitors. It wouldn't be polite to keep Bentley waiting. Well, that's all right, Louise. We just dropped in to see if you were going to the Whittendale party. But I see you have other plans. What? What Whittendale party? Well, the open house he's holding for his candidate in the primary. Mr. Whittendale was just escorting him up to the penthouse. Well, I wonder why we weren't invited. I know why. It was one of them fancy honkies only parties. <laughs> you call me a lot of things, George, but you've never called me a honky before. <laughs> Are you going to? Oh, you're just a token. <laughs> I, I can't understand why you weren't invited. Every registered voter in the building got an invitation. That's your fault, Weezy. You never give me my mail. Well, you're the one who brings it up. It's got to be there somewhere. It ain't nothing here but the electric bill, the phone bill, two giant burgers for the price of one, new low-cost health plan, you are cordially invited to, free car what? Ha! You are cordially invited to a political open house between the hours of... We're invited! Ha! Invited! Ha! George, we can't go. Say what? Remember, Mr. Bentley, we have a previous engagement. Break it. I don't want to go in the first place. No. <laughs> Hold on. We are not breaking anything. Mr. Bentley went to a lot of trouble getting those reservations. What will I tell him? Tell him to cancel. That's terrible. It ain't terrible. It's business. Good old George. <laughs> business before friendship. Not always. Sometimes it comes before family. <laughs> if you didn't want to go to dinner with Harry Bentley, you should have had the guts to tell him so. Amen. Oh, you think it's wrong too, huh? I certainly do. Well, you didn't think nothing of it when you did the same thing. Huh? What's he talking about? I mean, the night she told you that she was going to a committee meeting and came down here and played cards with Wheezy because she didn't want to go to one of those boring publishers' dinners with you. <laughs> oh. Tom, I uh, never... Just, just a minute, dear. <laughs> You see, George, uh, Helen told me all about that cover story. Uh, that was for the uh, benefit of my guests who wouldn't have understood. Right, Helen? Right, dear. <laughs> she can sell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's time for me to get to the Whittendale's party. Uh, what are you going to tell Mr. Bentley? You'll think of something, Weezy. <laughs> George! Oh. oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? I've got to dry my hair. Mr. Bentley will be here any minute. Oh, don't worry about us. We'll let ourselves out. <laughs> yes. Just one moment, Helen. <laughs> what did you mean by boring publisher's dinner? Oh, please, Tom. I don't want to talk about it. Besides, that was a long time ago. It was last Thursday. <laughs> you didn't want to go. All you had to do was say so. I did say so, but you wouldn't listen. You never listen to me, Tom. Let me tell you one thing. No, let me tell you one thing. Go ahead. One of your eyelashes is coming off. <laughs> Are you hiding from me? 